All right, we're back out here again with Captain Marty at the 41st annual Pirates Cove Billfish Tournament. Uh, this is day one of the tournament, and uh, they, it looks like they're weighing some fish over there. This uh, this update all brought to you by ELS, OBX, and Manio Electrical and Lighting Solutions. You can count on Captain Marty servicing residential and commercial online at ELSOBX.com. I actually had them come bid a job for me at my house recently, and I think they're going to get it because, well, they're the best in the biz when it comes to electrical and lighting solutions. Oh, yeah, and Jimmy works for them. Jimmy that's around here. Yes, I just. Five, you got, yeah, he's the best. When, when your dock lights don't work on your boat, that's something they're really, really good at, you they're, know. And it's good to know because these, these uh, boats all have great uh, panel boxes and stuff, and you need to really know how to do that kind of work. And he's been, during a tournament, he gets called a lot. Uh, he gets called down here a lot. To, to keep people shore power going. Right. Well, and they're also doing a big project. They were or they were doing. I don't know if they're still working on it all through Nags Head for when there's power outages, they'll still be able to supply power to the lights, all the stoplights in Nags Head. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got all these panel boxes. And I saw them out there doing the work. Best display of candy in the, in the pavilion. That I am told. That I am told. So here's here's another is uh, Crossweight Composites. Are you familiar with Crossweight Composites? I am. Uh, they're both the Crossweight Brothers are my, are my uh, godsons, right? Yeah, and by the way, back to ELS, they have okay. a barbecue sauce and a light bulb. I guess they do. They do. They sure do. I got a bottle of it. A little bird flew in my ear and just told me that. Oh, okay. All right. Tell me that. Have you been holding out? Well, Captain Marty. What else have you told me? But we'll get to some more of that. Okay. We'll get to some more of that. But, yes, they do have they do have a barbecue sauce that they make. I'm trying to keep and that sauce from you, Captain Marty. They don't want you to have any. <laughs> Oh, gosh, yes, ELSOBX.com, Crossweight Composites, the Crossweight brothers, Aaron and Jordan, both godsons of Captain Marty, sons of the legendary Bobby Crossweight, whom we love so dearly. That guy's a piece of work. I think the world of him. Yes, one of the boat builders here. Again, online at Crossweight.com, C-R-O-S-W-A-I-T.com. And the uh, and Bobby is also the father-in-law of Ashley Crossweight, who's the arms and the legs of the tournament. There she is right there. <laughs> that's a new nickname for her, the arms and the legs of the earth. The arms and the legs. I'm the voice. She's the arms and the legs. We almost make a full person. Yes. There you go. You're working on it, working yeah. towards it. I guess we could call Heather the brains. Is that accurate, maybe? Okay. Yeah. Now, Marty, they're weighing some fish over there. So what? Are, they've weighed some tunas, I believe. I think they're weighing. They are weighing a few tunas. Uh, 43 and a half pound yellowfin. A 43 and a half pound yellowfin on the low profile. Okay. Over there. That? Lord have mercy. Yeah. Big fish over there, what they're weighing right now. Got a nice little crowd over there, too. Keep in mind, 9% 90, 90, of the billfish in this tournament will be released. Okay. So all the blue, um, all the whites and all the sales, and the only way a blue marlin would be brought in is, is a really big one. Okay, that's so good to know. Okay, tuna, dolphin, wahoo, different jackpots for each of those. Now, I did see something, speaking of some of these different jackpots, Marty, I did see something about a lay day tournament. So does that mean you just lay on the dock as long as you can and get paid? How does that work? You'd be perfect for that. I would. Yeah. I would. Um, the lay day tournament, you fish three out of four days. Right, right. Today being day number And most boats, uh, you choose a lay day. Then you know what that does? That eliminates. The old-fashioned way where we would fish two days, take a lay day, fish the last two days. And, uh, of course, the middle lay day was fun because on the middle night, you could really have a good time. But because of the weather liability, we ended up taking, uh, now you choose your own weather day. You're responsible. You pick three out of four days. So okay. On your lay day, on your lay day, if you still want to go fishing, you can go ahead and enter that category. As you can see, all these black dots are the categories of entry. The different categories, on our, yes. On our sheet I'm showing you, and so yeah, you can. Uh, there's seven boats that have entered that light day, and at the end of this tournament, of those seven boats, if the, the one that had the highest accumulation of points will win two thousand five hundred. Okay, all right. Well, that'll, pay for fuel. that'll pay for the fuel. <laughs> but still, I mean, uh, the idea behind these tournaments is to go fishing, so I can appreciate anybody that would want to enter that and potentially walk away with a couple extra thousand bucks. Yeah, because keep in mind, if, like today, we had six boats. Or five boats that laid. Some of them did fish in the lay they turn, but it does get you out there fishing, scouting. Yeah, there you go. 
That's good. And, I mean, Martin, let's talk about the weather today. The weather, I mean, it's kind of overcast right now, but it's, dude, the, the, the humidity's gone down. The temperature's dropped a little bit. The wind shifted out of the northeast. It feels great out here. Does that make for some good conditions offshore, you believe? Uh, really, ideal conditions. We don't care about the rain. Let it rain. Let, let it rain. rain. Fish are already wet. When the wind comes around the northeast, what you don't want is very much wind. No. That's our bad wind. It's the best fishing. Okay. To answer your question, it's the worst. You can get the roughest, the quickest in the Gulf Stream because the wind is going directly in to the current. Right. Keep in mind that the Gulf Stream current, when it comes around the tip of Diamond Shoals, is not running north and south. It is running northeast. Okay. So it's running southwest to northeast. It angles out as it comes around Diamond Shoals. So a northeast wind is going, a northeast sea or wind is going right head, head on into the Gulf Stream. Right. Okay. I got you. So... All right, good to know. So with all that being said, I mean, it's been some pretty decent conditions today. Um, we're going to take a quick break. Marty's going to be doing, he's going to be looking. Oh, wait a minute, we got another dolphin. 24.3 24 pounds on the assault weapon is the top dolphin. That's a nice one, too. Oh, shoot, a 23. 24.3. Oh. Okay. That'll wow. be, uh, we saw a 26, a 27-pounder in the Alice Kelly. But we haven't seen the 40 and 50 pound dolphin, and we're talking about mahi, not yes. not, not not flipper, not, not flipper. Okay, no. good. That's a separate prize category. Okay, all right, separate you can prize only category. Catch them, you know, the only way you can catch them is with a hula hoop. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. got it. So we bring the hula hoop out there. Got right. it. All right, we're still here out here. It's day one of the Pirates Cove, the 41st annual Pirates Cove Billfish Tournament. We'll be right back in just a little bit with another update as they bring in more fish and as more boats come in.